The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. The teams then, Stade René against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Stade René line up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. of his strength for big chance that is wayward look it, it was achievable Peter but it needed his best sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge now for more Meunier dicks one in good ball over the top Benoff. and it's Neymar Cavani, he's had a go! Benoff. Forward it goes. Grenier. So what now? Di Maria with a good steal, well played. Berati. Spreads it towards the left. He's left his man. Oh, good ball. Neymar. This could fall anywhere. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Goes wide. Going through. So who's he picking out? That is terrific skill. He's in space and looking for options. He's gone for it! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Oh, Peter, the best counter-attacks are, are pacey and incisive, we know that, and, and that one never really got going. Yeah, this has been pretty decisive, no doubt as to who the better side is. Long and direct. Out to the left it goes. He's got away. Little chip. No, not quite. A sanitiara. Neymar. He's left his man. Yara comes sliding in. Try going for goal! Neymar, and a second time! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! Jim, your thoughts? Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Saint-Germain draw first blood here. 
Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Over to the left. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Neymar's cross. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Benoff. So, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Played out to the wing. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Diara does well there, alert, passes it through. Now it's Cavani. Keeper goes long. And he's made certain that won't get through. Di Maria. And it's Cavani. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looking to break out here. Looks like a good ball through. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. Going through, looks to slip it through. Di Maria tries to get some whip on it. Played out to the right. Tries lifting it over. Great tackle, he had to get that right. Di Maria. Baratti with the ball through. Now the pass. Well read, he sorted that out. And it's the whistle for half time. Well, there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Paris Saint-Germain come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Shot a goal! That was venomous. Listen, the manager seems to have impacted during the break. This is now a show of real purpose. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Ben Arfa. Di Maria. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Marquinhos. And it's Di Maria. Tries a through ball. Timely intervention. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Verratti. And he's cut it out. And that's well defended. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. It's Neymar! It's in! Two up! 
running to pull clear. Cavani was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. That intervention was very necessary. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Has a swing at it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Stade René to retain the ball, but uh, seemingly in no rush to break forward. Enough. Could move up a gear here, plays it out to the wing. He's got options out wide. Stade René uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Thiago Silva does well to read it and intercepts. And it's Mernier. Looks to slip it through. Managed to get it away. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Place it into the channel, heave to the back post. Di Maria goes looking. Cavani, looks like a good ball through. Neymar is being picked on here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and neck. Goes for goal! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Without reply, this is becoming a stroll. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well played, he saw that coming. Grenier. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Just brushed off the ball there. Di Maria plays it towards the front. Cavani. Looking to break out here. Cavani, that is a terrific run. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. He's got away. Tries to stroke it through. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. 
Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Play for a throw. Tries to dink it in. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He's gone long. He's done very well to intervene. Going through. Can he score? It's anyone's ball. Looks to clip it forward. Marco Verratti. Hoists it high. Towering header. Keeper's got his work done. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain simply imposed...